I, in any way you want to. But it's almost like people want to put on this show. Like you telling me that God can hear everything I'm saying. He know my thoughts. He know my process. He know everything. But then you try to tell me that I can't say anything negative about God. But yes, I can because God already know what I feel. God already know what I'm going, what I felt because He put me on this earth and or she put me on this earth and that's it. And if God is in you, you yourself know how you feel. So it's like, why not be honest with that? Like, why you can't just be honest with what you're feeling? Because everything is not just this big omnipotent thing. Some people do things wrong. Oprah does some wrong shit sometimes. Steve Harvey does some incorrect shit sometimes. Um. Who else? I don't know. Any of them. Uh, Farrakhan does some fucked up shit sometimes. Like, it's like we don't even sit back and be like, okay, well, that's, that was kind of fucked up. But it's like you can't say anything. You got to still be on their side for what? Like, what the fuck you on their side for? If the motherfucker fucked up, they fucked up. And it ain't nothing for you to just sit back and be like, hey, you know what? That That's not fair. It's not right. You know, just because this person run a company does not always mean that they making the correct steps. Like they, they doing the correct things to make those things happen. So I don't know. It's like, sometimes you do have to say that and you don't have to be rude about it. And just because you said it does not mean it's the end of the world because you have to have somebody in front of you that will help you correct yourself. Like this woman, even though she ran the school, I sometimes had to go and say, Hey, this report card is messed up or this right here is messed up. You know, but at the so at the so long, you get tired of doing that for people. You can't always have people around you that you have to do that for. You have to start to find people that's gonna help you elevate yourself, and that's where I have. That's that's exactly where I'm at in life. It's like I'm a, I'm still talking to people that's not helping me get anywhere. Like it's like I feel like where am I going? And I ain't talking to nobody. I ain't even y'all for I ain't even really talking to nobody. I ain't I can't even be like, oh I got a whole crew of motherfucker you know, I don't I ain't talk I haven't spoken to anybody in person. I speak to people and people speak something back to me that don't make sense to what I just asked them or said to them. So that's the whole thing. It's like we on two different conversations. Um but yeah, it, it's like you have to have, and you got to have heart to be able to do that. You got to be real about what's going on. You can't just, sometimes I'm just like, this is, some things I feel are just okay. Like some people might feel like, well, Shantae, this is not good enough. But I feel like it is. Um, As an artist, I feel like some things I see, other people probably won't see visually some things i like you're not gonna like because we might not have the same style some artists have a neat style some artists have a a a, a kind of sloppy style some artists have a a, a, a drawing style some people have real li- like they can do realism really well everybody not gonna be able to do the, do the same thing and that's okay but it, it's just like you have to you have to realize that you have to realize that you're going to need some people around you that's going to tell you that, hey, I don't like this. I need you to change this. I got to, I need you to move it up. I need you to move it down. And then you're going to have some people that's going to be like, yes, this is it. I love it. And other people are going to love it too. Even though that one part, you might have one person, I ain't know, I don't like it because it ain't good enough. But then ask them to do it. Ask them to draw something. Ask them to get out there and do it. Ask them to put themselves out there. It's hard. You know, all this shit ain't easy. Some people make it look easy, but it's hard. Some of it is hard. It's hard. It's hard. It's hard. Even me. Like, I know that I lack so many. I, I can do a lot, but then as far as like business stuff, like selling stuff, I can do it. But I can't do it. If I if I consciously do it, I cannot sell. If I if I subconsciously do it, I could probably sell any goddamn thing. What I like, what I believe in. Because I'm gonna tell you the truth. What are the pros and cons of it? This is the pros, this is the cons. And this is how what I felt when I when I used it, you know. So I don't know. Anyway, that okay. So anyway, back to the main point of the whole podcast today. That's how I came up with the idea for trying to make my school. It's just like, where do I manage from? I thought about where do I manage from? How do I get these things in? How do I get these ideas in? How do I? How am I able to oversee that all the ideas are being worked out? How do I not become a bitch while I'm doing it? I mean, that was like the main focus. How do I not become a bitch as a teacher? Because let me tell you, it has come to the point where I'm just like, fuck 
this. Fuck every fucking thing that they got that got to do with teaching. Fuck all. Fuck all. Fuck the fucking. Fuck it all. The objective. The testing. Fuck all that because man, these these kids, man, they they the stuff that I see online as adults, the shit that we make up, and then we expect for our kids not to put that out somewhere in the world. You done fucked up. We didn't. We the shit that we put in these. It's some fucked up shit. Some of it is true. Some of it's honest. And honesty is something else. And it's like the correct kind of honesty. You know, um, yeah, the correct honesty. We don't want to really get down and delve into the real shit. You know, like when we need validation, when we need these, you know, when we need this, when we need that, all that different shit. So, yeah, it's like, I don't know. You just have to, um, I don't know. I feel like, if you want a company, you got to be able to look at all different aspects of one place. Like, you got to be able to look at different places and see what worked for them and what didn't. And you don't have to work at all of them. You just got to read about them. What, what are their processes? What are this? What, what is that? What is this? Some of them you do have to work at, especially if people not getting good schedules. If you got people that's unhappy, you got a lot of people getting written up at a certain time. You got a lot of people... Uh, getting time taken from it. just little shit like that. When you start seeing trends and stuff like that, guess what happens? You know, you probably it's probably something you need to look at and what is it that needs to be fixed. And in that process, does anybody need to be hurt, fired, or anything like that? And probably not, you know, because I'm looking at one job where I, I saw, yeah, she would have thought that all that everybody in there was doing her wrong, but she was still getting the scores that she needed. So, I don't know. It's like one hand on one hand, how do you see it? And on the other hand, how do you see it? And to me, I just feel like maybe if she wasn't, if she would have been a woman, if they both would have been women and not being petty about the dumb shit, then they could have still continued to have a good school that was functioning and processing scores the way that it, that it was. So I don't know. I'm just, that's still, that's still it. And I, I feel like, yeah, I let it go. I let it go. I think I let it go. I don't know if I'm letting it go by going through the process, but hey, I hope hopefully it goes through. But anyway, have a great day and um and Shantae Brown Sugar Talks. I hope I make history. That's like that's a plan of mine. I wanna make history. I do. I look at I look up to so many black women, so many women, so many men. Like it's like I wanna be one of those people that just does what she has to do. And not to say that it's something that causes me anxiety. It's just like I know that I'm that I could do it. And so it's like, how do I get started? And how do I do that if I don't got no damn friends? If I ain't got nobody I trust so I can talk to. Or I think that this person may come and steal my idea again, you know, or steal the company. Steal the whole fucking company and the car too. And the car too. It was my money, y'all. My money. (laughs) Uh, Anyway, have a good day. Shantae Brown Sugar Talks.